Um, do you, is there anybody that you blame for the situation that you're in? Well, not, not really, not really. You, you can't really put a blame on anyone. It's, it's you know, it's, it's ups and downs, and goods and bads. You know what I'm saying? I was never into the drug thing or anything like that. It's just, you know, when I moved here from New York, and, you know, just got to start off small before you can get big, and, you know, looking for jobs and things like that. Have you ever been in love? Were you ever married? Yes, I'm married now. I'm married to a wonderful woman, Lynette Tyson. She's, uh, she lives with her mother, so she wouldn't have to subject to her. I'm So, you know, I, I see her every day. And she goes to work. You know, I walk up to the bus stop and catch the bus with her. And you know, I the transit. Then I go by looking for jobs. And she goes to work. Is your relationship with your parents a good one? Great. Lovely. It's lovely. I love my parents. My parents, I'm the new baby of the family. And, you know, they, they don't know that I'm, I'm up here homeless. So I don't got to leave that part out. But when I do talk to them, I call them every other day. You know, let them know I'm doing fine. Do you have any children with your wife? No, not with my wife. I have children by... Uh, prior relationship. Do you still uh, have any kind of contact with them? Oh, my children, yes. yes. Oh, yes. I call them, yeah, I call them every other day to see how the grandbabies are doing. You know, send them stuff, you know, like West Virginia stuff. They like that kind of stuff with them down here. They like the mountaineers now. <laughs> At least my son. I got one son and five, five girls. And they, they like West Virginia. They, they have never been up here because I'm not stable yet. So when I get stable in the apartment, then they will come up and stay. And visit and go back home. If you were given a large sum of money right now, what's the first thing that you would purchase with it? That I purchase? Yeah, what's the first thing that you would purchase? Well, I would, if I had a large sum of money, I think I, I like to give my wife roses and things like that. So I think I'll buy some flowers. First thing I do. Is there any kind of message or final thoughts that you'd have for the well, documentary? I would say, I, I would uh, ask everybody to come out and just visit. You know, you, you, if, if they will come out and visit, they will see how friendly and nice people really are. If you come down and visit, you will see for yourself how fun-loving people are, with the homeless are. And, and we'll reach out the hand to you, you know. Wouldn't mind uh, coming out here and, and pick out a couple of people for jobs if you had like yard work to do. You'd be surprised how many people would, would step up and volunteer to help you on nothing. Or you know what I'm saying? And you feel like uh, you have to pay someone, you know, to do something, and they they would do it. You, you'd be nice to come and get somebody, and give them a job. You know, everybody doesn't drink or do drugs that's in, in these uh, shelters either. So you know. It, It'd be a nice thing to see some a, a lot of people just come out and just say, hey, well, let's go to Crossroads or uh, uh, Lifeway Center and grab some people and do some work. Or, you know, it might turn on to be per, uh, permanent employment. And that'd be a good thing for a lot of people that's in these shelters looking for jobs. And, and then once you say you live in a the shelter, they kind of shy away from that you know, because you live there. No, it's, it's not by force, it's by choice, other than sleeping here on the ground. Call of the true right now I'm here. And I said I I said I You know Molly Kane, she's different, she don't need nobody. Falling backwards and empty, but I'm damn sure.